Hey fellow vault dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and we received update to public test server is back up and running. We are testing, hopefully we'll not get any crazy bugs in March update, but that is later. Now, what have changed? I have my doubts what's going on in here and you will see why. And I want some discussion from you, what you think is going on. So I will tell you my opinions and analyze whatever you have to say tomorrow in Turtlecast. But now to the point, what's happening with public test server? So we received patch notes for the public test server is running. And from the start of the patch notes, after reviewing feedback from our PTS community, we have decided to remove infusions from this update. This whole update, by the way, was about those infusions and mutated public events. That's a March update we are talking about. We are going to re-evaluate infusions moving forward based off player feedback, but as of right now, they will not be in this update. I heard similar wording before, re-evaluate. That was about vault rates. Do you remember those? I'm still missing vault rates. I want them back. I don't know how re-evaluation re is going there. But now, design changes. Uh, that's good. That's good what's happening in here. Daily script from 300 to 500 and you will be able to hold 6,000 scripts. So that's good. That's the replacement we are getting for lack of those new infusions. And there is more stuff. There is not even everything listed here on those patch notes. So we'll go into the PTS back in one second. Now, what are they giving us to replace the infusions ingredients that we should earn from those mutated public events as those stay? If you missed that, then check all their PTS video and I'm showing the mutated public events. Now, what we'll get inside this mutated package from the event, there will be guaranteed freestyle legendary. A little bit more experience, that's still nothing. And more rare plants inside those packages that you can unlock. That's a, that's a good one. That's a really big one. Uh, some of the rare plants are super rare in Fallout. So now you'll be able to put your hand on them through the mutated packages. And as well, the four unique legendaries, like three of those I show you in the previous PTS video, those are mostly launchers, like Quad Auto Grenade Launcher. I think there is two shot Murph Fatman. So yeah, very, very flashy weapons. They have names now. I don't have them yet as I need to grind for them on PTS for like two weeks. I don't know why we are not getting them for testing. I grind for those last time. And of course, progress was erased and we are restarting on PTS, so I don't have it anymore. Now, flashy, shaky weapon is, it is a problem. Luckily, Bethesda listened to our feedback from previous PTS to at least half of it. As now, if we go into settings under display and scroll down, there is a new setting, enable camera shaking. By default, it's on. So let me remind you what camera shaking is. If I use auto grenade launcher, I should just cover your eyes. It will be flashy. And you can see how everything is shaking. Like look at this uh, new zapper race back there. And look how it's shaking when I fire. It's all shaking. Now the same situation is happening when I'm sprinting in power armor. You see this shaking going on? It's very annoying. So this is the shaking. Now, now if I switch it off in the settings, I go into the settings. Again, display, scroll down. Enable camera shaking off. Now I fire grenade launcher. It's still very flashy, but as you can notice, there is no shake at all. So. Half of our feedback is already implemented. It's awesome. I hope the flashiness will be tuned down. Now, if I sprint, look how smooth it is. Look how smooth it is. 
you will be half less tired <laughs> from playing Fallout 76 thanks to this single setting. This is huge. <laughs> this is like from everything in this patch, from all this extra script, extra mutated events and stuff, I'm the most happy about camera shake setting. If we'll get camera flash setting to tune down those explosive flashes, I would be ultra happy. Even if they scrapped all other content from the next patch, I would be ultra happy. But content is odd. Like we are getting those mutated events, infusion totally scrapped, just extra more script, four new named legendaries, some more rare plants. So this is like QOL and bug fixes patch at this moment. Uh, there is no actual new content. So I don't know. I don't know what exactly we should think about it. That's why I need your feedback and I will read it. I will read your feedback and we will be talking about it more tomorrow on the Territory cast. So if you can provide me with your opinions, please do so. If you are still annoyed about current bugs in the live game version, those have been reported on previous PTS and hopefully they will be quickly fixed tomorrow. That's what we know so far. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.